again. Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Hello. Greetings. Can you stop missing that? Welcome. I, I miss the, uh, the, it's like a quarter note at the very end. Yeah. The fourth beat. And I forget to you hit it. You do it every time. Every You'll time. You'll get it one of these days. I won't. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> that's true. Maybe. Um, Maybe I leave tonight and get hit by a car. Wow, that's really sad. And this has been It Resolves uh, with... The car resolved deep. to your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let that be my last words. But my counter! <laughs> Smack! What's up, guys? Oh, we have a very special episode, I think, this, this time. Uh, this was a fun fun episode to work on. Yes. Um, this is, of course, the kitchen table day, uh, where we mm. just talk about some fun stuff. We're gonna. We're not going to spoil this. We'll it might be it. spoiled in the title of the video, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go into any details quite yet. Okay. First, we have a little bit of a plug <clears throat> to make. <clears throat> Will get in your plug radio voice. <laughs> 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 Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. It resolves on www.patreon.com. That was insanely good. Was it? I hope. That was really good. I hope it was. Um, we should just quit this and do a radio show like that. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, so, no, but really, we are on um, far too much caffeine at this late hour. <laughs> um, also, Patreon. Uh, check us out. We've got some fun sub goals, sub tiers to mm -hmm. hit. Uh, fun things that let you interact with us a little bit more. Uh, play some magic. Uh, beat us at some magic um, <laughs> which you will do trust me probably uh, yeah and we are putting patreon specific content on there once we have an audience so we're shooting for yeah. around five maybe ten hundred thousand <laughs> to get started on patreon only content right. we need probably around at least five or ten so to justify uh, if you feel like uh, you can donate and you want to and you want to be a part of that community yeah. feel free to don't feel pressured but if you want to by all means we'd love to have you and Pressure. we'd love to hang out with you a little bit pushing down me anyway <laughs> all right moving to the next little bit of a right. uh, little bit of content we like to start off every episode <laughs> with our card of the day let's get to that before so, uh, i start singing other yeah stuff. let's let's not get you singing all right three two one what new rock <laughs> hover sale new rock new rock i'm gonna say new rock hover sale whatever it is it is a one cast artifact equipment equip creature has flying and it takes two to equip. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad, guys. Um, it it's is. in Mirrodin, by the way, which yeah. is obviously the artifact heavy block. Right. Um, uh, Mirrodin, Fifth Dawn. It's just. I feel not like good. it's in a draft to like. This is probably only played in draft ever. Oh, yeah. and it's it's that, like filler like, in draft. Like yeah. you are way behind you, on picks. You so play you this, use this if if your deck synergizes with artifacts in play, <laughs> like creatures that play with equipment stuff. Yeah. Um, which there are a few in that. I mean block, there are, yeah, right? but so, this is like literally the worst of the worst as far I as equipment. Probably go. it yeah. It's just real bad. Hey. Yeah, I no. Bad card. Nah. Bad card. Nah. But hey, nah. that's the fun of the card of the day. Right? And we need those bad cards yeah, to get to the to balance out the good ones, the really good, which cards. we get all the time. Stay tuned. Not on card of the name. <laughs> no, we really don't. We've had a few okay ones. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we ought to do that. That would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the end of each month or something like that, we could highlight the top three card of the days, and we'll we'll just play a slideshow of um, of the three cards of I will remember you playing in the background. That's so sad. Is that the song? Yeah. Well, hopefully we don't ever get those again. So they're like gone <laughs> and in the past. All right. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. To justify yeah. the song. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know, I'm full of music. But tonight. it's super random, so we could get the same one twice. Let's hope well, we don't. That's true. Out of like 16,000, though? Come on. I mean, it's going to happen eventually. No. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't All know. right. Here's the deal. Deal. We, we held off on talking about this at the beginning of the episode, but. We're like three minutes in. <laughs> well. They, we don't want you to wait too long. Stop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Here's the deal. If you are not up to speed on the latest announcements from uh, Wizards, Magic mm. the Gathering Department, all that jazz. Yeah. They are releasing a brand new 
Unstable set in 2018. Do you remember the exact date? Uh, it's in December. Is it December? I want to say December 18th. I don't know why. Of this year or of 2018? No, it's this year. Oh. It's coming out this year. My apologies. I think it's coming out this December. Wow, I thought it was in the beginning of 2018. Shh, shh, shh. Wow, guys. No, no, no. Well, now I just feel bad. Well, you talk. All right. Um, <laughs> this is a podcast. Uh, <laughs> no, but I think it is December. Okay. Um, forgive no, me. No. We don't have it written down in front of us, but that is what my memory's serving us, which doesn't really work out. Anyway... Um, <laughs> If we're wrong, we're wrong. Hey, just tell us. Uh, <laughs> but yes, to honor that, to get hyped, get pumped, get ready for that, uh, we picked up um, a few of the old un cards. The un cards. This yeah. was from uh, what? What is this? Unglued or it's unhinged? Is, so it. yeah. here's the deal. Before we get into this, it should be said hmm. uh, these cards were again provided by our sponsor Grand Slam a huge yes. shout out to them uh, you've heard us talk about them a lot so far on the show they sponsor our crack packs they've also sponsored already a past episode and yeah. now this one too uh, they yes, it's really cool they provided these cards for us they had them lying around and uh, allowed us to take them off their hands mm-hmm. so we could do a show about it and um, we really really appreciate that Oh, we yeah. do Huge recommend you. that you guys go visit them. Their website and their Facebook are down in the description. Yeah. Uh, so you're welcome to go check them out there. They also do a lot of Pokemon openings. If you're into Pokemon TCG, they do a lot of box breaks uh, every Saturday, I believe. So you can yep. buy tickets to that and actually uh, get your hands on some some fantastic cards that way. They do sell everything from Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, uh, back to comic books and mm-hmm. sports cards as well as just random accessory stuff so definitely yeah. go check them out they're working on getting an online store up so you'll mm-hmm. be able to shop online if you are not in our area but if you are around Charlotte North Carolina 10 minutes south and you're there uh, in Rock Hill yes. so uh, definitely throw. check them out yeah a stone's throw a good, a good way of putting it it's so. a good uh, southern colloquialism if I do say so. You're coming up with all the voices today. It's awesome. Uh, it's it's just a thing I keep tucked away that I bust out every now and then. It's You should have seen me at FNM. I was really weird. Yeah. Uh, was so weird. that's a good point. Before we get into this, what, let's let's talk very quickly. You went to FNM. I did. I went to I FNM. wasn't able to go, but you went. good old uh, It Resolves for the first time in forever. Yeah. Um, and that was a lot of fun. We'll uh, talk about this more on our standard episode, yeah. but I just want to point out that... Uh, Finally, uh, we're actually getting to play in some yes. terms. At least one of it us was, is. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> pretty much, my schedule has not lined up to go and play yeah. ever anywhere um, for like a year or so now. Because <laughs> I work full time, I'm awesome in school. So I'm like, uh, I take classes mostly during the day, sometimes at night, and then I work whenever I'm not in school. But now it's the Fair summer, enough. and school's out for the summer for summer yeah. so yeah I, I went and got to play and that was really exciting um i haven't been in a like quote unquote tournament a- atmosphere it is technically yeah I mean, like a tournament, it's a but, tournament um all the ones i've been to have been really laid back super fun i met some cool guys uh got beat a lot uh but that's okay um <laughs> we made a, a pretty solid deck and i did not play to its potential um, well said Thank you. I don't know if that's true or not because I wasn't there. Well, it Um, is. Yeah, I was out of town last week, so Mm. unfortunately, I was not able uh, to to check out the F and M. But I'm glad you were able to, and we're both looking to this Friday, so I'm really excited to tomorrow uh, to give that a shot. Yeah, tomorrow. Wink. Um, (laughs) Yeah, so that should be fun. So Um, yeah, yeah, I just want to point that out because that's awesome. Look for us. Look to see us. I'm excited to rubbing our hands with excitement. I've not been to an F and M before, so I'm excited. It's a really neat time, well, my good. man. You get to talk about some magic. You get to <laughs> meet some new people who also like to talk about magic. It's just well, a that's, good time. It sounds like my kind of people. Ain't it though? Ain't it <laughs> All though? right, tangent over. Right, okay. as we always seem Reel to reel it on. back in. Main topic. That was my fault. Sorry, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's exciting. We're, it is exciting. we're getting. We're finally someone let us out, and we can frolic <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Um, so talk to us about this unhinged stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you do not know, wizards took it upon themselves one year to say, r and art guys, just let loose. Make a silly set about anything. It's going to be a draft-only format. 
and it's just going to be as bonkers as it can be. Um, and it was. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is cool. We've pulled out <laughs> some of our favorite cards that we made from our cubelet. Cubelets, if you don't know, are like a mini cube um, where you take the uh, sealed, you know what you're going to get in a cube uh, mentality and just condense it into 100 cards. Uh, and two or more players play mm-hmm. from that deck as if it were their own. And you just so you magic. share that deck. All the lands yeah. produce every color, mm-hmm. so it doesn't really matter what color cards you put in it. It's just a right. fun way to play for two people to get sort of a cube experience yeah. uh, without having to go through the draft and having right. tons of people around. So that way, just you and a buddy can do it. Yeah, it's uh, kind of silly. Um, yeah. And it's we've we've learned some things. We've discovered some problems. We yeah, have things that we like. Uh, mana it tends to be like a yeah, an it's issue. a little hit or miss. Um, there's not really a mulligan in. Yeah. Yeah, because if one person mulligans, that means the other person kind of has to also. So, right. like, since you're sharing the deck, so it's a little bit convoluted, right. but it is just a fun, yeah, relaxed really way fun. to, to uh, cube. So we played that, uh, and with the unhinged cards. So let's talk about <laughs> some of our favorites. Kev, why don't you pick like three from these, and All I'll right. pick three. Uh, I want to talk about this one. I want to talk about this one and this one for Good. sure. I actually really want to talk about this one. I'm picking all the silly cards. That's creepy. <laughs> all the silly cards. Uh, I'm picking three of the silly <laughs> cards. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So I'm good. We'll talk about how I won, and then yeah. Why don't you games. go into uh, how you won? All right. So in a two out of three, <laughs> I took home the the W, kind of in a really crappy way. <laughs> the last game was pretty yeah, crappy. Was pretty I crappy. okay. So let it be known. I was like, "Is this fair? Do I?" I win? told him it was. He said I won. Just look at the camera. Tell me. Ladies and gentlemen, Will has officially won. I have allowed that to happen. Yes, I good. know I let some of you down. <laughs> you let them all down. Uh, <laughs> you all down. No, I will so, I will make up for this. You better. This, this will not will, last. Will, anyway, so, okay. The reason I say that, I'm going to go into it first. So there's a card in Unhinged. Unglued. What are we? Unhinged. Called Loose Lips. I'm better for this. <laughs> I know. I, I forget. Uh, <laughs> loose Lips enchant creature that says, so I place not turn one. Turn two, Loose Lips. Loose Lips says, as Loose Lips comes into play, choose a sentence with eight or fewer words. Enchanted creature has flying. Whenever enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you draw two cards unless that player says the chosen sentence. So here's, well, tell them what the sentence was. <clears throat> Will you win? I concede the game. Okay, so here's the deal. I said it, which was dumb, but I said it thinking, oh, well, we're, we won't take that seriously. And then we sort of had a discussion after the fact, after I had already said it. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. That was my yes, plan the whole time. It works. That's fine. That was my win. So, guys, I kind of threw the game. My bad. No, he did, technically. Yeah. Uh, I won, though. We're counting it. So the first game, <laughs> though, was much better. Um, so there's a yeah, little, it was a lot better. There's a little combo in, uh, in Unhinged that works with really anything that happens that says at the end of turn in this card. Staying power. This isn't a silly card, but it makes for some silly things. It's a silly card. It says, as long as staying power is in play until end of turn and this turn effects don't end. Which sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, like for constructing great. magic, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, so there's two cards that I used to make this work. Keeper of the Sacred Word. That says, as Keeper of the Sacred Word comes into play, choose a word. This card. Whenever an opponent says the chosen <sighs> word, Keeper of the Sacred Word gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. So, what was the chosen word? All right. All right, now, guys. <laughs> One. I don't know if you've realized this. We're like 30 episodes in at this point. Pretty much. You have to know. I say all right, like, all the time. Yeah, it's so, a lot. It's the, a lot. I, I will say, though, for the first few turns, I think I did pretty well. You did. You kept I didn't like... say it at all. And then one turn went by where I said it, like, twice. And you realized. And I was like, you know what? I'm sure whatever i'm gonna lose at this point so i just kept saying it all right he was a 30 31 <laughs> by the time kevin was like maybe i can win this game i'll stop <laughs> he did not no um, but i did have a good play he did oh god he did get rid of him um i did too late 
Yeah, we'll get into that for in a that second. Point. Um, so then there was also this card. Uh, our market research shows that players like really long card names, so we made this card to have the longest name, the longest card name ever elemental. <laughs> All right. This is what we're dealing with in this keyboard, people. It's so like. good. Uh, yes, it's great. So the, another card in there is Mother of Goons. I love this one. Kind of like Mother of Runes. Yeah, get it? Yeah. So Mother of Goons is black, 3-2, two, two colorless, one black. Says whenever a creature an opponent controls is put into a graveyard from play, sacrifice Mother of Goons unless you insult that creature. Uh. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so this is one of the best like examples I think of the Unhinged series, yes. where you just have to do something stupid. Yes. Like there are tons of cards. It's like it's cards so get a buff if you're eating, or yep. cards get a buff if you're standing. Like yes, this is this the kind of has stuff. Vigilance as long as you're. Standing. Yeah, like these are the kinds of cards that are in this Unhinged set. So if you don't know what we're talking, if you've never seen these cards before, check them out. Yes. This is what you can expect in the Unstable series. Like, it's gonna yes. be awesome. Um, our Magic Cover Band's new name is Rocket Powered Turbo Slug uh, from this set, <laughs> uh, which is a slug. It's a 3 1 uh, for 4 that has super haste. Super haste. E look it up, it's on the card. Super haste. <laughs> this may attack the turn before you play it. <laughs> Boom. Unhinged. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Summarize. All right. No, no, no. Here's the deal. <laughs> I want to talk about a few <laughs> underwhelming cards, but cards that no, I love. No, they were awesome. All right. First of all, I'm just going to start off with Little Girl. I Okay, I, little girl. I love this card for... Uh, re I'll let you talk about First it. First of all, I'll, I'll this why. is the cutest card in Magic. It is. Let's just go ahead just and say girl, that. I, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the Hopefully cutest it thing in Magic. Focus thing. Yeah, it does weird focus, focus. sometimes. Focus. <laughs> it's a one-half, one-half creature. Four. For half a planes. Yes. Half a white. Yeah. So, okay, whatever. Oh, Terrible, yeah. right? No, it's cute. It's adorable. It's, awesome. it's the best card in magic. You have to tap an entire land to play this for <laughs> half a mana. You've got half a floating mana. But here's the deal. If you've got two of them in your opening hand, you get two of them turn one. Now, that's true. You can. I mean, diversify threats, right? Threats? <laughs> this has to attack twice to do one damage. <laughs> But well, let me just, just, let me tell you why this is one of my new favorite cards. Because okay. I had not seen this particular card until we opened these packs. A uh, little girl says her flavor text. She's got no effects. That's it. She's vanilla. Her flavor <laughs> text is: In the future, she may be a distinguished leader, a great scholar, or a decorated hero. These days, all she does is pee the bed. I never read the flavor text, which is adorable. But <laughs> wizards didn't say great mommy. Or a great teacher. They said a hero. Bye, little girl. <laughs> they said a hero. Or a scholar. Wait for wizards to be feminists before it was cool. Right? So they're the the hipsters of feminism? Which is a thing? Yes. There's also... Ooh, <laughs> I don't ooh on Laughing Hyenas, there's also a, the muffin joke. Is there? Yes. You know the muffin joke. Do I? Well, yeah. You talk about your cards. I'll find it. All right. So here's the deal. And Laughing Hyenas is actually a good example of this, too. There's a mechanic in Unhinged that I absolutely mm. loved and took advantage of, uh, uh, especially yeah, in my yeah. first game. So there's a mechanic. It's called Gotcha. As in Gotcha, you know, that whole thing. And basically, when an opponent says a word, if you say Gotcha... You get to return the card that has that mechanic from the graveyard back to your hand. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So Laughing Hyenas basically states if your opponent laughs mm -hmm. at any point, you say gotcha. Is it a common? It is. But it is. Good. You say gotcha, and you just get to get it back. Yeah, from a graveyard. Recursion for days. Card That's Pecker cool. is another one of my favorites. It is a two casting cost flying bird that has 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, power one and, a half. and one Say toughness it right. one and a half Say it. don't mislead so the people. yeah we get the half theme in there though yeah, i like seriously. that so but this one says basically anytime your opponent touches the table mm. just a table no the table the table the playing table. i mean the table you get to do it too. You get to say gotcha and then return it. That's great. You and you always touch the table. forget. Like you're always yeah. gonna forget about laughing. You're always gonna forget about touching the table because you're playing a game. You can't focus on everything. It's hilarious. You just get free stuff for days. 
I want to watch the pros play this game. Like oh, this, gosh, that would be so cool. Try to watch them win. Like try very <laughs> hard to win. Seriously, it would be so great to watch. Like, how does someone who's got the win is holding it like rocket power turbo slug? Like, do I got it? <laughs> I could. I just picture them shuffling in the way that they do. Shuffling, not looking, just shuffling. No, they always like it. Kind of looks like they're listening to it. Yeah, it's like. Hmm. Yeah. Does this sound right? No. Sounds like Th- sounds like the winds here. All right. But then, like a card falls out or something, and it's <laughs> laughing hyena. Oh man! Which <laughs> the, read the joke? The flavor read the text. Joke. Two muffins are baking in an oven. One muffin says to the other muffin, "It's getting hot in here, huh?" The other muffin says, "Ah." A talking muffin. That's the muffin joke, and I love it. My wife cue loves the it laughter. too. We should like cue fake get, laughter. Get here. a laugh track on here. <laughs> oh yeah, um, a wall is fantastic. You, why don't you read a wall? All right, all right. So a wall is two and a white for an instant. Uh, remove target attacking creature from the game, then remove it from the removed from game zone and put it into the absolutely removed from the freaking game forever zone. Yes, which. And our game ended up being on the floor somewhere in the other room. Yeah, we threw it. We just threw it. But still. But it's awesome. That's great. It's so good. Um, there's Vile Bile, a card that if you touch, you lose two life. And that's for any player, any too. Player. So even if you play it. Yeah. So Kevin played that card and moved it around with a pen. I mean, you have to. You can't touch it. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, but here you go, guys. All right. This is my favorite. This oh, is where I got the best play out it's of. It's the coolest card ever printed. So, if you're new to Magic, if you don't know the history of Magic, Welcome. you don't know no don't know the the beginnings of this fantastic game that we all get to play. A beautiful game. Uh, it was created by a wonderful man Indeed. named Richard Garfield, and he is forever immortalized in the Unhinged set. Uh, He's a with card. the card Richard Garfield, PhD. Does he actually have a PhD? Do you know? I'm sure he does. I believe he does. I hmm. I might be wrong. I'd Correct like this in the comments. But he's a 2-2 creature for five. I yeah. know that sounds like a lot, right? Like, bad start. However, uh, his ability says you may play cards as though they were other magic cards of your choice with the same mana cost. You cannot choose the same card twice. So here's the deal. You play a four drop. Becomes a Wrath of God. Yes. Play one drop, pass something. Why not? Like, you have every card available to you. Every card ever printed. So, here is how I got rid of your massive 30 bajillion strong thingy. Keeper of the Sacred Word, a really buff old guy. <laughs> he is very looks like Gandalf. He right? is Gandalf. Um, yeah. Here's the deal. I played this, Richard mm-hmm. Garfield. Yes. Next turn, I played a four drop. Yeah. Useless four drop, didn't matter. Played True. Wrath of God, wiped the board, including Richard Garfield, but I was at one at that point, so it didn't really wow. matter. So, technically... Technically, I lost a while ago. I get it. He, we were not counting half damage correctly. Yeah. And then I said, wait, were you counting half damage? No. No. Because a card, uh, <clears throat> badass, <laughs> it has three and a half power. <laughs> uh, he also has the ability, uh, pay one in a black, growl, regenerate badass. Yeah, sweet. so you do have to actually growl. Yes. But it happened. Um, and it worked out. Yeah, guys, you. this set is super fun. Yeah, um, I mean, th- not enough can be said in terms no. of just how fun this set is. I think yes. if you can get your... A lot of these cards, I mean, there's a few, like, a couple bucks for a few of these cards. Most of them are very cheap. You can go out oh, online, like, yeah. find them everywhere. I would highly suggest, if you're just looking for a fun thing to do just to try it, Mm. within magic do this just make some silly decks out of it or do a cubelet like we did i think the cubelet was a great idea yeah Yeah. make a full-on cube if you want sweet there are two sets that you can pull from there's unhinged and unglued and now there's going to be a third soon to be a third so by the end of the year you can make a full-on cube with tons of different cards it's gonna be so cool um yeah guys this was super super fun i would highly <laughs> encourage everybody to go check it's this so stuff silly. out even just opening it and reading every card this is probably one of the few sets where you open it and read the commons yeah like, i mean you have to all of them and yeah. there's some pretty overpowered stuff i think 
Uh, I say overpowered. Just silly overpowered. Well, but. okay, Snot. Snot's awesome. He's a common. Says, as Snot comes into play, you may stick it onto another creature named Snot. It specifically says stick it. Uh, <laughs> if you do, all those creatures form a single creature. Snot's power and toughness are each equal to the square of the number of Snots stuck together. I love that. That's dope. I think that's so good. And it's a one drop. Yeah, it's cool. Like, it's you just cool. You can get a 16 16. Yeah. You've got four. Easy. And then a 25 25, right? If you have five. And etc. And 36 36. Yes. And etc. etc. Because math. Math is hard, guys. Math reasons. You need maths to play magic. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, some of these cards are just hilarious and actually kind of fun just to play with. Oh, so. they're so cool. I mean,. Just do definitely it. check it out. Just I, I can't do it. Recommend this enough, yeah. honestly. And it again, a huge thanks to Grand Slam for providing us these cards. Maybe um, we should host a draft event. That's not a bad idea. Whenever this lands, lands at Grand Slam, <laughs> right? Maybe so. That might not be a bad idea. It'd be a fun way to. Uh, That'd be loads of fun. Yeah, it would be really fun. Maybe we can come up with a little draft. Pod. Play some silly, uh, silly magic at, yes. at Grand Slam with with I like some, that idea. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. Because, because we we're are southern. From, we, well, we are. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, okay, all yeah, right, dude. I think that was that's all we can say about Unhinged. Yeah. Please play it. Try it when it comes out. Play it with us. Yeah, if you can. absolutely. We'd love Somewhere. to play it with you guys. God, um, so good. And again, uh, we say this all the time. This all the stuff that we try is stuff that I at least I think intro players can enjoy, mm-hmm. but also like the experienced players would love this. If you've never touched the unhinged stuff before, I promise you, if you're an experienced player, you will love this. It's yeah. so much fun, you and you may you yeah. probably pick it up quicker than some of the newer players. But that's okay. That's I mean. That's what it's for. It's perfect. It's going to burp at Do you. it. And I didn't want to. Please don't burp at me. Did you know Magic is rated T for teen? I did, actually, yeah. I had no idea. Really? So we have our packs open in front of us, and on yeah, my, yeah. I'm guessing this is a token. No, it's not. It's rated T I for teen. Token. Or Peggy 7. <laughs> anyway, again, for the third time in this episode, Grand, Sl- <laughs> Grand Slam sponsors this as well. Uh, they've been very kind to us and providing us with an Amonkhet booster box, thank you, which thank we've you. been opening every day that we record one of these episodes. And hopefully, we'll find our goal cards. If yes. not, we'll we'll keep looking. But uh, I think how, I got how, it. you think you got it. You say that every time. Well, it's good to approach something with positivity. All right. Well, I don't think you got it, but wow, I'm just gonna suck. I'm just gonna guess. But um again a huge thank you to grand slam we already talked about them so i won't say much more but definitely go check them out i will grand slam the best we love you yes um Uh, but i'm looking for gideon of the trials okay what are you looking for Uh, i'm looking for combat celebrant and this it ain't Ah, combat celebrant you all probably know what it does by now so i won't talk too much more about it um but it's really cool um so we'll kind of go through these and talk about it in a limited aspect just give you a little more meat in the yes. pack. Well, first of all, what is your rare? So my rare is Vizier of Many Faces. It says, you may have Vizier of Many Faces. Enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except if Vizier of Many Faces was embalmed. The token has no mana cost. It's white, and it's a zombie in addition to its other types. Um, so this threw me for a loop the first time we opened it. So I was yeah. like, what does it mean? Read it again? But basically, if it's embalmed, it's also a white zombie and has no yeah. mana cost. Yeah. That's what it means. Um, so I opened that an angler drake and ornery kudu isn't bad but I don't think it's first pickable it's really not um, angler drake it's, is definitely yeah, it's probably angler drake it's a 4-4 four, four for 6 It's with flying it says when it enters the battlefield you may return target creature to its owner's hand so it really plays to the tempo swing in the later stages um, <laughs> and it can also work with vizier yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If for whatever reason that wield. Um, so do you I, think you take Vizier or do you think you take Angler Drake? I see. I don't know. It's nice to have one of anything else in the draft. Oh yeah, which absolutely. is what Vizier is really. Mm-hmm. Um, this is tricky. Um, if I'm a gambling man, which I am, uh, <laughs> I would take Vizier. Okay. So I probably pick that. It's all. It also comes out on turn four when Angler comes out on turn six. Fair. Um, 
Angler, though, is fantastic in limited um, to come you know, out at four power with flying. Honestly, what I think the biggest problem, the situation that you find yourself in, is mm -hmm. that the two best cards in the pack are definitely the blue cards. They're definitely yeah. powerful blue cards. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take one of them, and then you're going to have to pass the pack and yeah. pass the other card to somebody else who yeah. will not have another better choice. Like They're probably going to take the other good blue card. Yeah. That, and that's tough. But that's the kind of takeaway you do when you play draft, yeah. right? Oh, so absolutely. You just have to decide what you want to pass. Yep. Um. And I think it's probably Angler Drake, you know? I think Angler Drake is just super solid. It's so good. It is really good. Um, Great tempo play, a, a serious threat in a limited environment. I think it's the pick for sure. You think but so? That's just me. No, I'm taking, I'm saying I'm taking a Vizier. I'm passing Angler Drake. Okay. You know what I mean? I would take Angler Drake, but that's just me. I know. It's probably the right choice. It is, but I'm thinking. It is the right choice. What if someone opened Hepatra or Bontu? Do I also want to play a Bontu? Yeah, but at yes. that point, you're speculating really hard on what the other person's playing, and you're depending on somebody else's Speculating, deck. not necessarily, but planning, just in case. I think you're spinning this a little too positively. No, that's what you gotta Says do. Says Kevin. That's what you gotta do. Says Kevin, Kevin. what'd you pick? All right, so I also did not get my gold card, mm. uh, but I got an interesting one. Commit to Memory uh, is a card that I actually really like. Uh, three and a blue for an instant. Put target spell or non-land permanent into its owner's library, second from the top. So this is a card I love, by the way. Oh. Yes. You love it. I do. I love it. It's great. My card. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> the, the memory side of it is four and two blue uh, for a sorcery. Each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his, his or her library then draw seven cards. So this actually lost me a game when I played it at FNM. It lost you a game? Yes. Um, I'm speculating a little bit on that, but I'll tell you why. Okay. So uh, I was playing a uh, Rakdos aggro, kind of a, a red-black aggro, mm -hmm. um, and they had killed literally each of my win cons. That's a problem. My two glory bringers and my two... Um, uh, Gear Hulks. Yeah. The blue ones. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, dang... How do I get those back? Ooh, I know. I can memory them and put them back into my deck and then maybe draw them again. True. Guess what I also gave back to my opponent? All the things that killed them. You didn't think that through, did you? Whoops. No, I didn't. You really should think things through when you're playing Magic. I should, but honestly, that's probably the good bet. Right? I mean, yeah, I, I think you, if you're losing all of your win cons, then yeah, you kind of have to. You're Which I was. To. Um, and it's a but shame. The, yeah that that does kind of suck. Um, that being said, mm. I think commit to memory is probably my pick. My pack is quite bad. Um, I have Ronos's monument. I don't mm. really know how much how great the monuments are. I don't value them too highly. Um, I do have a river serpent, which is good. Not necessarily a first pick. Unwavering initiate, same. It's a solid white creature. Yeah. Hooded brawler, Ooh, same for me. green. Do you find this boring? I do. Whenever you wanna, you, you wanna, you wanna pay attention a little bit more. Um, I also have the cartouche of knowledge, which I think is a decent cartouche, but not the best. Uh, probably the third best, and then a start yeah. to finish, which is just an okay card. Um, I think commit to memory. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So blue cards coming in clutch today. Question with commit to memory for yeah, yeah. the audience and you, Kev. Since it says put target spell, does that not mean you can cast it on the stack? Yes. And you use it essentially like a counter? Yes, you can. That's delicious. Yeah, that's fine. Does, did this come up in your FNM? No, 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 no. Um, it could have, and I decided uh, not to leave it to ruling and just do it when something hit the field, okay. which which ended up fine. Yeah, yeah. But still. No, yeah, you definitely, I mean, I would think you'd be able to. I don't think I'm incorrect, but I might be. Because it works like spell queller. Yeah. Right, because it says. Target spell. Yeah. Anything but a land. Yeah, that should work. Um, Commit but, is, honestly, this is probably one of the best Aftermath cards. Um, memory, like, refuels you, but, again, yeah. also refuels your opponent. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it on the stack like a counter, or you can just bounce a crazy thing and not worry about it for two turns. Yeah. Two or... Yeah, two. Two. Um, 
unless they get draw, but that's not important. Well, it depends on if you're doing it on their turn or your turn. I mean, there's a lot of that's fair. The variance there, yeah, but yeah. Um, it is very, very good. It's a huge tempo play. Yes, um, uh, it's, and a soft counter. I guess I would think of it as it's not an actual counter, but sort of a soft. Yeah. It's like remand almost um, for you, like you modern players. I think I like Reman better. Oh yeah, Reman's ten times better. First of all, it's for half the yeah. casting costs. Too many it goes back to their hand, but you draw a card, so you yeah. replace it. So you're up a. I mean, you're not up a card, but you you, you don't stay level. Lose card. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's still great. Yeah, yeah. Um, pick it's great up. for standard for sure. Pick them up. Pick them up for the is it control decks, which we will be talking more about on tomorrow's episode. What a great segue. Yeah. We're talking about a lot on tomorrow's episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hour of Devastation yeah. is coming, guys. We've Ooh. got a ton of spoilers Ooh. that we'd like to talk the about. The is late. Um, I don't know if we'll get, th- we'll, we won't go through every single card, but we'll go through some of the notable ones. Yeah, uh, some big ones. Of which there are many, so it might yeah. be a little bit Well, it is a large episode. set, so there's going to be yeah. a lot of good stuff. Um, And so far, I mean, God, some of these cards. Uh, so it, I I have not been this excited about a set in a while. Yeah, honestly, I haven't either. Right. I originally was really stoked for Amonkhet. I, see, and then I, I saw the rest. Like there were a few cards that I saw that I was like, "Wow, this is going to be a great, a pretty awesome set." Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the set kind of dropped off for me. Yeah, I mean it. <clears throat> it kind of suffers from what a lot of a lot of the small sets suffer from, right? You kind of get too used to it. I think that's fair. So like drafting Amonkhet for me right now. It's fun, but it's kind of stale. I've done it yeah. a bunch. Yeah, so like, yeah. it's not as interesting anymore. No. It is fun. Drafting is probably the most balanced, fun format. But yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of... Yeah. I think drafting Amonkhet specifically gets a little bit tricky because yeah. of the tricks. Yeah, you could say um, that. There's a lot of them, but uh, sure. it, it's a cool set. Not, but Hour of Devastation, I think, is going to be a lot better. Oh, man. Um, so I'm really, really excited. A lot of the bombs. This is this is one you can buy and stow away, I think, maybe yeah, if you want. I think so. I think there will be some very relevant cards for a very long time, potentially. Yeah. You were telling me about some things you can play uh, outside of standard e Correct. as well. So, Correct. Okay. Tips for you. Tips. We'll talk about that tomorrow. I don't want to talk about too no, much. No, not of it too now. much. Uh, but. Uh, one last thank you to our sponsor. One last thank you to all of you guys. We really appreciate you guys hanging out with us, yeah. listening to the podcast, and supporting it in whatever way that you see fit, whether it's just listening, whether it's liking, whether it's commenting, or yeah. donating on our Patreon, which we definitely hope you will do if you feel the notion. Um, but other than that, guys, I think we are going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves. <laughs>